you get a big old leech. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with first mate, Pee Poops McToots. And once again, it's canoe season. We are in the boat and I've got a line already set and I'm trolling and uh, we're doing some fishing. Oh, there's a duck. There's a duck over there on the shore. It's a little bit breezier than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, yeah, we've got we got a hair bit of a late start today. Uh, we've got three hours until sunset. Little, little less than three hours till sunset. The sun will be set and it'll be starting to be dark in three hours, is what I mean. Um, and uh, yeah, we're spending the night out here. Hopefully we catch a fish. I don't, I would say I've got a 50-50 chance. If I do catch one fish, most of it's gonna go to the old Mount Stinky back here. And I'll eat some. But uh, other than that, you know, we catch two, which if we're getting crazy and thinking that's gonna happen, uh, well, we'll eat some one, but uh, it's it's a little bit breezier than I thought it was gonna be. I picked today because yesterday was super windy, and oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh, dang. That was a nice bite. Oh. Dang it, that happened quick. That was a good bite. Oh, I thought I had a good one. All right, so that's what we're using right now, this little teeny tiny Rapala. We're just gonna keep trolling and chatting for a minute here because I haven't taken a cast yet. That was the first the first line in the water. That was, that was, that was a nice bite, okay. We're gonna switch sides on the camera so we can see it. If So the only problem is when I'm fishing for trout, I use a four pound test. And this is the first ultralight rod I've bought. And I actually don't like ultra rod, or ultra light rods that much anymore. They're just too, too, uh, what's the, just, just like that. Like it, it was, that fish bit and it was going like, you know, it bent in half. And I think if it had a little bit more, if it was my like my light rod, it probably would have set the hook. But with it so light, they can just pull on it and it doesn't like give any fight back. Um, that got me, that got me really fired up. <laughs> my was like, oh, first fish of the year. <laughs> first fish of the year. Yeah, so we're gonna do some casting in a minute here. I just wanna paddle and get to where the wind's coming from and then we're gonna blow back and cast. That's what we're gonna do. So like I said, this is the first, uh, first time in the boat for the year, first time fishing for the year. We had an early spring this year. Um, normally, I don't even think last year I got to put the boat in the water this early. I might have, but I don't think the fishing would have been as good as it is now. Uh, Cause the, it's just been warm. We got a really warm spell in early spring. Now it's kind of tapered back out and it's just an average spring temperatures, but all the snow has gone everywhere pretty early this year. So uh, I think now that that happened, I'm kind of confident that we'll catch a fish as long as we keep trolling. I'll troll two lines if I have to. Uh, now that that happened before I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll just go out and we'll see if we catch a fish. Now I'm just like, we're going to catch fish. We want it, we gotta have it. Um, so once we get to the end of the lake here, I'm gonna keep trolling, and then we're gonna start casting, but we gotta have a big old Monty update. Last time I talked to everyone, 
Uh, Monty's limp has returned, and we need to discuss that. So let's just get out of the wind because I'm sure the camera's picking up the wind a little bit. Ooh, I'm excited. We can get our first fish of the year, our first snag of the year, our first catch and cook of the year, our first, maybe we can get an owl tonight. Oh. Hear an owl. Maybe we'll see a turtle. Maybe a beaver. An otter, a hairy otter. Okay, we're at the end of the lake. Now we're gonna do some casting, trolling, and chatting. And now the wind's blowing around this way. It's just way windier, so you're gonna have to deal with the uh, wind noise. Anyways, I'm using the old Meps Aglia Zero chartreuse and orange. Okay, so if we get if we get a fish or a bite, I'm gonna interrupt what I'm chatting about with Monty. Other than that, we're just gonna keep on trucking through. So, the Monty. Um, if anybody asks how Monty's doing for the next long while. I am going to reference them to this point. We did one of these videos on the beginning of winter and now it's the beginning of spring and we've had, you know, some updates with how Monty's, the whole situation. And we're gonna start from the beginning, give a quick up to speed and just go over the Monty update right now. That's the last time I'm gonna keep saying stuff like that. So bringing everyone up to speed. Uh, last summer at some point, Monty contracted Lyme's disease. He got bit by a tick or something. Uh, maybe he got bit by funk, probably a tick, but he got Lyme's disease. And uh, we didn't know about it. We were with a certain vet and uh, we, you know, he, he started to get like a light limp and they, we just asked and did all tests and like nothing. So, um, you know, that went on for a while and the limp just didn't go away. And then you're just like, ah, you know, just rest, 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 blah, blah, blah. Limp didn't go away. So we're just like, we just didn't like it. We wanted a second opinion. So we talked to another vet and this vet did a different test. And we found out that Monty actually had Lyme's disease and it had gone on for a little while. So with the Lyme's disease, we had to give him antibiotics. And it's, it's, it's not usually, for most dogs, it's not really that serious. The Lyme's disease uh, usually just goes away and it's it's just not too crazy so we got him the the uh antibiotics and we gave them to him and you know we were thinking that the line was going to be under control it's going to control the limp and he was still limping and it was we couldn't really tell which leg and blah 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 so we thought it was an injury on top of the uh limes so it was just rest no going crazy rest 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 blah 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 and uh he got some anti-inflammatories, yada, yada, yada. Limp was still there. We were going crazy. We were about ready to take him to a specialist. And then all of a sudden, the limp kind of just went away. Uh, middle of winter there. And we thought Monty was A-OK, -okay, 100% fine. Fast forward to Easter, where we did the Easter egg hunt, and he went crazy after Frodo. After that, and that was like a week or two ago, um, he was limping pretty hardcore and it was def it's definitely his right. So we're like, okay, what the heck? Like, is this a new injury? Is this the same one as before? We we're just getting sick and tired of this dang limp and what's going on. So I'm like, we're going back to the vet. We're going to get some more x-rays and we're going to figure out what the heck's going on. So when we were first, when we first brought him to the vet, I didn't really mention it, but we got a bunch of x-rays, like all paws and shoulders and stuff. We didn't end up x-raying his spine and I don't know am I getting a bite we didn't x-ray his spine and I'm not I can't remember if it was just like something we didn't think about or just like ah oh, snag ah oh, dang it dang it there's our first snag there it is okay got the snag so we got an x-ray of his spine this time and we found something so what we can see right now is that there is some bone spurs growing between uh a couple of vertebrae in the center of his back and we think that that is the reason he has got the limp is because uh 
you know, it can get a little painful when these bone, bone spurs are growing. Now we don't know the reason for the bone spurs growing. Um, it's some kind of degeneration and we are working to find that out. What we're doing is uh, we're taking him to a specialist. It's gonna get pricey, we don't care. There will be no expense spared to take care of the Monty and make sure he lives a long, healthy life. Now, um, what it's called, what it's, the technical thing, I'm pretty sure that the, the vet says it looks like spondylosis deformans. Bear with me. It's basically like arthritis in his spine. Now, we're not sure if it was caused by some kind of like crazy thing or if it's just from the Lyme's disease. And I'm thinking it's from the Lyme's disease. So, what that means for the old Mont Stinky here is that exercise, <clears throat> exercise is gonna be good, but only very, very light exercise. That means just casual walks, absolutely no bouncy bunny, um, can't be hopping at all. Um, he's gotta maintain a pretty, he, he can't get fat, so he's gonna have to get less dog food and he's gotta just stay skinny because that helps a lot. So the old month stinky back there, I'm still gonna give him, you know, treats and stuff. We're just gonna have to give him less kibble to make up for like if he eats fish and stuff, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna have to have modified sleeping pad battles. Um, and I also don't know how a spring trip is gonna go. Um, I'm pretty soon here, I'm gonna go on a solo trip and there's gonna be two options. I'm either gonna go with Monty and do a very casual portage fishing trip or go with Ruger and do my main thing. What I'm leaning to right now is doing a uh, fishing style trip where there's barely any portaging and we just go on bigger lakes because he can sit in this boat all day. Like this is fine. This is actually good for him. And I think for his mind, I mean, he loves it in this boat. I just, uh, I don't want to have to keep making him not go on walks and stuff because he goes crazy. When we, when we have it so he's not going on walks and he's not doing much, the second he, you get him excited, he goes nuts. He, uh, what did he do the other day? I took him on a leashed walk and I let him off the leash for a split second. I was like, all right, Monty, just go poop. Cause he doesn't like to, he likes to go off and poop wherever he likes to do his thing. I was like, go poop. Instantaneously, he ears went back and he just lunged at me so excitedly, just like bounced at me and just bounced twice. I was like, ah, like, dang it. And then he was limping pretty good after that. I was like, just, ah, just cause he gets so cooped up. So he's gotta go do something. And I think the canoe is his best bet. Yeah, we're talking about you, Monty. He just looks so at peace right now. He's so happy. So back, getting back to the whole Monty discussion. Anyways, um, with this whole spondylosis deformans, it's look, right now we can't see very well with, with the, the x-rays that the vet had. That's why we need to go to a specialist. And the soonest we can get to a specialist is sometime in July. That's the absolute soonest. And uh, yeah which sucks it really does suck we'd i mean we'd love to give him in tomorrow i i want to get him in as soon as possible but the, there's nothing i can do so we're waiting till july and uh with the whole what, what we saw he uh it looks like his uh two of the vertebrae in his spine are like connecting they're making a bridge and connecting with the bone spur and it looks like it's not on both sides yet, but one side does look like it's connected, which is not the best thing, but uh, there's not much you can do. You know, we don't know what caused and blah, blah, blah. It's some kind of degeneration, whether it's the Lyme disease or something else going on. We're not gonna know much, and we're pretty much not gonna find out anything till we go see the specialist in July. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna have any new information about this whole, th ooh, Monty shift. Jeez, Monty. I'm not gonna have any new information until we go to the specialist in July, so it's gonna be months. Um, we're just gonna be taking it easy and uh, doing our best. Now, as far as camping goes, I'm obviously gonna keep taking Monty out. Uh, 
because he just he just hasn't been getting a lot of camping in this whole winter. It's just been a just a crappy just since we found out he had limes as far as camping and limping and just injured stinky old Monty goes, it's just been crappy. It's been down he just and he just doesn't know what's going on, you know. It's not like he's in pain. He is still just Monty, 100% Monty, and that makes it even harder. If he knew he was in pain, he'd probably take it easy a bit more, but he just doesn't. He just is going cr as crazy as ever. So what I'm trying to say is that for the most part, we're going to be doing car camping. If Monty is, is with me, I am not making him walk too far from the car to get where we're going. Um, like I said, he can do light walks. Uh, so usually when it's just me and him, he doesn't go too crazy. He kind of just follows me and walks around if Ruger's with and he's not on a leash uh he just gets just this look in his eye and just out of nowhere he just starts attacking Ruger and bouncy bunny and going crazy so if Ruger's around he's going to be on a leash which means he's probably not going to go camping with Ruger here until we figure out and he gets healed up uh because I don't like to have him on leashes when I'm camping and dealing with stuff so yeah, I'm not going to let him and Ruger be off leash. And I turn my back and Monty's just like making his injury worse. So yeah, I mean, that's all I really got to say about it. I mean, we're just, you know, hoping that there's no underlying issues, that it's just uh, is what it is. We're going to do everything in our power to stop it, give it them anti-inflammatories and whatever we can to make it so it doesn't grow larger and connect the top and bottom of his spine. And uh, we're just going to wait and see till we get uh, to the vet or the specialist, and we're just gonna take it easy. He's gonna continue to go outside, just light amounts of this and that and walking, and yeah. So if we learn anything new, or you know something else comes up, I will let you guys know, but other than that, you guys are gonna have to wait just as long as me to find out if Monty's, what, what's going on. We're gonna have to wait till July, and I will definitely bring it up, so. Let's just get back to normalcy and uh, enjoy this first day of canoe camping. Right, Monty? Yeah? That's what you think? Oh. Oh, me too. Okay. Let's catch a fish. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do one round around the lake of trolling. I just, because we had a bite already, and I would really just like to catch a fish my first day out. I just, I just, I, I need to catch a fish. So I didn't really plan on trolling. So I've only got one of these lures. Otherwise, I would use two. So what we're going to do is put this on my good pole. And I'm going to put a little mini spoon on the other pole. And we're going to troll one round around the lake. And then we're probably going to set up camp. And we can do an evening fish. So I'm going to get both my lines in the water. And we're just going to do a nice relaxing paddle around the lake trolling. You saw it. I think you did. Maybe you didn't. Dang. Whoa, Dang it, that was another bite. We're getting to the corner here. We gotta turn.
Oh, this one? Oh, we got one. Oh, we got one. Oh, it was on the spoon. We got a fish. Oh, is it still on? I think we still got it. Yes! <laughs> over the boat, over the net. <laughs> yes. Yes! All right. Awesome. <laughs> First fish of the year. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so what happened just now was complete and utter chaos. Complete and utter chaos. So, I got my one fish off and my battery died. Oh God, come here. Dang it. I was bringing in my other line because I had to get a new battery and I got one. <laughs> So I got two beautiful little rainbows. This one's a lot more beautiful than this, but this is perfect for what we want tonight uh, with our food. Um, just absolutely perfect. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> yes. So um, yeah, I was just bringing, my battery died and I was bringing in the, the trolling lure and just bam, and I could tell it was a nicer fish. So we're gonna get these guys on the stringer ASAP and I don't think we're gonna do any more trolling. We're just gonna do casting. Uh, Cause usually I do trolling if I want a fish dinner. Like I, I'll go a little crazier, but now we can just cast. So we got one on the little spoon. <sighs> this just went way better than expected. Way better than expected. Got a lot of fish slime in the boat, but that doesn't matter a ton. Dinner has been secured. Oh, yes, that feels so good. That, I can't even tell you how good that feels. It feels so good. Monty, you're getting a full fish to yourself, bud. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so lucky with the timing. Like the wind is calming down and they're jumping like crazy right in this area. So I'm gonna fish for another hour before we set up camp now. I, I was just gonna maybe go set up camp, but they're jumping. So what I've got, what I caught the first one on was this. I didn't, uh, it's a little teeny eighth ounce Clio, chartreuse and green. I didn't have any hits on my spinner. So we're gonna try this out. Oh, I just cast a near one. Oh man. This fires me up. <laughs> oh, I love catching fish. I can hear him jumping all over. Sounds like they're out. Yeah, they're out in like the middle. I always have more luck with my spinner when they're jumping like that, or my, yeah, my spinner. I think I'm gonna have to switch back. There we go. Yes. Oh. Ooh. 
simmer down. Now with trout, um, when I'm not keeping, when I'm keeping them, I don't care about putting them in my net, but when I'm gonna let them go, I try not to touch them as much as possible. And if I do, I make sure to wet my hand. And I'm just gonna loosely shake the hook out. He's barely hooked. Ooh, ooh. There he goes. Just gonna let him go. <laughs> I am like a kid in a candy store right now. That's two on the uh, spoon. I think that's that's gonna be the winning lure right now. I think that's the that's the in color because that that Rapala I got is blue and chartreuse with a little orange. So it's that chartreuse right now, and at least in this lake at this time. Oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna stop fishing. We might be setting up in the dark if they keep biting. So the meal I planned, I actually didn't plan on catching fish. So I kind of got, it'll, it'll work with fish. We're still gonna eat fish and it's gonna be delish fish, but it would have been okay if I didn't have any fish. If I would have known it was gonna be like this, I would have planned something else. It's okay. We might be coming back here very soon. <laughs> oh, man, once you get your hand wet, it's a little chilly. A little bit chilly on my hand. I mean, it's, it's like 40s, upper 40s right now. Oh. Next one, if we catch another one, we're gonna try to do a fish release cam. I don't really do those with trout very often. Oh, there's a good boy, Monty. Monty's groaning. I'm having this internal struggle battle right now. Um, I know trout fishing always gets better towards dusk. And if they're biting good right now, I think it's gonna be even better towards dusk. So, part of me wants to just go set up real quick, get some wood, and then just come fish the evening. Let Monty stretch his legs a little bit. Oh, Monty's, Monty's passing out. Ooh, breeze is picking up. All right, we're just gonna take like 10 more casts then uh, we're gonna go set up camp or one more fish but if I catch a fish and cast one or two I'm definitely gonna finish out the rest of those casts <sighs> oh that breeze it's actually kind of cold I think I need to reiterate how exciting this is for me uh, normally fishing like this uh, for trout and stuff it doesn't happen for like almost another month I mean, I can't keep bass, pike, or walleye for another month. Bass, not even a month and a half. Like, that's that's pretty far out. And normally, I like, the trout fishing is pretty good, like, first couple weeks of May is when it starts. But this year, it started, like, almost a, a month earlier to where it's it's good. Because, I, I mean, it's it's good. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't, I'm not an expert fisherman, so, uh, you know, people... As soon as ice out happens, people just that that know what they're doing with trout just slam. But for me, I normally don't catch them like this for almost. Ooh, I just saw one swipe at it for almost like a, another three weeks, and now I'm gonna get a whole month of catching these trout like this. Whew. So many spots I'm gonna try. I'm just like. My brain's just like, oh, I know this lake, this lake, this lake. We're going to all of them. We're probably going to come back here. I invited Captain Teeny Trout to this for today, and, you know, he uh, he didn't answer me. So he missed out. And I'm definitely going to rub it in. So we just need to catch, like, ten more fish so I can just, oof, oof. <laughs> Just what what's better than this right now? Got the old mon stinky. Blue sklies. Well they're not really blue sklies back there, but there's there's blue sklies up ahead. No bugs. Zero bugs. And the fish are biting. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. The no bugs thing while fish are biting is 
It's not something I'm used to. Oh. We got a bite. So we're gonna pretend it, it got it got injured. Do it. Bite the lure. I find this lack of fish disturbing. They're jumping over there too. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna go set up. We are definitely gonna troll our way to camp. <laughs> but, but we're gonna go set up. Or maybe I won't troll. We'll just take a couple casts on the way to camp. That'll be better. That okay. Alright, okay. Alright, you talk me into it, Monty. Mr. Bunny, hi, hi, is that a stick? That's a nice stick. You just simmer down, mister. You be careful. So, I did not know this. I didn't know that this existed, but there is a, a fire ring here. I did not know that this existed. This is a great spot. This is awesome. It's perfect. It's perfect. So, this is where we're gonna set up. Now, the wind is kinda coming off the lake, and it's pretty breezy. So, uh, yeah, it's not the most ideal situation because I want it. The only, there's not really much room to set up a tent here uh, that's not close to this fire. I mean, there's plenty of room to set up a tent, but. Uh, but if the wind's blowing, I don't want to set up my tent and have the fire. Well, embers all over my tent. They set up right here. It's kind of a way, it's just really close. Hmm. This is gonna have to do. Right here, old Mon Stinky. Yeah. Because right here is. This is the best spot. Right where the, this fire ring's in a poor spot. I don't know if this is just some, this looks like something that just someone just put here. There's no time for, if we burn a few ember holes, who cares? We might, we might catch another fish. Right, Monty? Right? Right? Okay, I agree. I agree. Let's not worry about it. Oh! Hey, 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 I know what you want. I know what you want and what you're thinking. It can't happen like that right now. We gotta be safe. We gotta be safe, okay? Please. Please, mister. So another thing we gotta do, because Monty's, uh, you know, can't be bounced around, we've gotta do modified battles. No, 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 never mind, no battles, no, my, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Monty, come here. You can't bounce like that. Don't bounce like that. Can't we just, can't we just have, come on. Can we just have some, how about, how about like this, how about like this. Okay, okay. All right, Mr. Barky. I get it. I get it. Okay, you win. You win. Jeez. I made you bounce. And there's no going back. It's too late. It happened. You bounced. And now I look like a big jerk. Yeah, that was like a big jerk. See, he's not limping right now. It's, I think a lot of it has to do with stiffness. Um, so, he, uh, he gets a little more stiff because of the whole spine thing in the bone spur. I wouldn't say he's in as much pain. I think his limp is caused more by stiffness. Another thing I want to say is that um, 
Normally when there's no bugs, I do not camp in a tent. I use a tarp. The reason being is I like to be able to see the woods when I'm out. You know, tents you go, you tuck yourself in, and you just can't see like the twilight hours if the stars are out. Well, it looks like it's just getting cloudy tonight. But anyways, you just, you just can't see as much when in a tent. But when the bugs are out, I ain't gonna be caught without a tent. But I could go today without a tent, except for that I'd like to just test everything out, make sure everything's good to go. You know, you always just gotta use everything, especially because I'm gonna be doing an extended trip coming up here. I haven't really thought of much about where I'm going exactly and you know, how long I'm going and the path. I've got a small idea, but I know if I take Monty, I'm gonna have to do small portages and not a lot of them. And for me, I'm gonna need good fishing. So I'm gonna find the perfect uh, spot. I'll probably end up visiting spots I've, or loops that I've done before. Uh, that's more than likely what's gonna happen if I'm taking the old Mon Stinky, which, let's be honest, I wanna take him. The only way I'm not gonna take him is if I know it's like just 100% bad for him. If that's the case, if it's just gonna like cause permanent damage, then we're not taking the Monty. But, if I can make it safe for him, he's coming. We're also gonna be trying out some new stuff, uh, new sleeping pads. Because uh, you guys, you know, if you, if you follow the channel for long enough, you know we've popped a pad or two. Like I was saying, he's... Oh no! What could have caused a hole? Yeah, I don't know. And I just, because of the whole thing going on, I couldn't send in my, my damaged pads to get repaired. So I had like six of them and uh, sent them all in. One couldn't be repaired. This one that I'm using, they repaired. And then the rest of them, they, the one that couldn't be repaired, they sent me a coupon for a new one to like 30% off or something. And then the rest of them, they sent me these new ones. So three, I think it was three of these, they sent these new ones, and I blew one up, and I just do not like them. This is the first pad by Thermarest where I am just disappointed. It's called a Topo Lux. Uh, and it's just, it's like, it's so thick and narrow that I feel like I just roll off it. But that's, that's just the first impression I had when I blew it up in my house. It's like, oh, I gotta just check it out. Um, we're gonna try it out tonight, and I'm gonna see if I like it or not. You know, you'd think that it's so thick that it'd be super comfy, and you know that's normally the case. I think it just needs to be a little bit wider. It's just too too skinny, and it's almost like a it's like you're laying on a water bottle. I don't know. We're gonna find out tonight. If I have a terrible night's sleep, I don't know what to do because I got sent three brand new ones. I wish they would have just sent the same ones because I'm pretty sure they just make these. I don't know why they. I think it's just like, they're like, oh, let's just have them try the new one. You know, rather than repair this one, we can just send them the new one. He'll, he'll appreciate that more. And I would. Stay, hey, simmer down. Monty, he, he is so happy to be out right now with all the spring smells and stuff. Dang it, Monty. He's just running around. He's, he was just moping and he just saw me and came running. What are we going to do, Monty? Oh, and one other thing I want to bring up. I'm, I'm doing a lot of blabbing today, okay? This is the first canoe camp of the year. I caught three fish. I'm excited. Monty's out. We're excited. First canoe camp. It just, it's so exciting, and there's so much i got to talk about, you know, going into a new season. There's a lot of blabbing in this one. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, back into Monty's injury, swimming is good for it. So, he is going to be retaining his Monty Phelps title, and he's going to be swimming like a madman. 
Uh, it's a little bit too cold right now. He doesn't like going in the water when it's cold like this and the water's really cold. But pretty soon here, on warm days, we're, we're going to have him swimming. Even when he doesn't want to get in, he's going to swim for 10-15 minutes because that'll strengthen up his muscles, his back, it's good for joints. And uh, I just want him to be just like a beefcake, like the Monty Phelps, as strong as he can be. And that's the only way to do it. We can't have him going and running hard and stuff. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Okay, okay. Okay. We've blabbed enough. We've shown enough of this. I'm gonna finish setting up, getting all this crap in here. Then we're gonna go get some firewood. And Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 it, was just, it was just for me. It was just for me. Yeah. He's bouncing too much. Just, dang it, Monty. You're making it not look so good for our week-long trip. <laughs> dang it. If he bounces, if you if you bounce too much, it's not going to be a good idea, Monty. So please, just contain the urge and the excitement right now. Oh, there's fish. There's fish out there. Okay, that made me way warmer than it needed to be, or than I needed to be. Whoa, 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 jeez. He's like rearing up on his back legs. Oh, Monty. He's crazy. He is, uh, well, he's excited to be alive and be out here right now. Uh, yeah, he is pumped. He's been waiting for this moment. So, um, in an hour and 22 minutes, it'll definitely be darkish. It's not gonna be like, we'll still have light in the sky, but definitely uh, hour 22. We've got firewood. We're all set up pretty much. Not everything's set up perfectly, but uh, set up good enough to where we can go do some evening fishing which is what I want to do. I'm very warm right now. Like I said, it's like upper 40s. Just bringing these few pieces of wood, I'm sweating. But I know I'm gonna get chilly once we sit out there. Oh, there's a fish jumping. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Okay, we're gonna get some layers and bring it all out with us. We're going fishing. We're going fishing, my dude. More fishing. Okay, so they're biting on the spoon, we know that. So I set up my other pole with my Blue Fox Super Vibrax 1 orange and chartreuse. I always like the orange and chartreuse best. So we're gonna try this out and uh, see if we can get a bite on this one. Cause let's be honest, we know the, uh, the spoon's working. And yes, we could probably catch more with the spoon. But I wanna see if they're gonna bite this one. And I've got a couple black flies that are floating around me. And they're not, they're not bugging me at all, but the second they do, I've got a special weapon for black flies we're trying this year that I think is gonna work, but we won't know until it happens. But I'm not gonna bust it out until they get nasty. The, the time, I didn't cast a lot with the spinner, but, oh, is that a jumper over here? 
but uh, for for how well these fish are jumping and biting from what I saw they should be or I would have got a hit on that spinner normally so maybe it's just the action maybe they like the spoon action right now the and the lure I was kind of there's a little more action move inside to side more this is kind of stagnant spinning it doesn't you know it's not, not aggressive looking and for those of you that did watch my 45 second video on Sunday where I was hula hooping uh, obviously today is Sunday I recorded that and this in the same day um, I used to just not really go camping on Sundays like if the best day of the week was a Sunday I would just go a different day but I think I'm going to just, you know, if I got to sacrifice, you know, a day or so to release because I want to go camping on Sunday because it's like the best weather day, I'm just going to do so going forward. Because there's definitely been some nice Sundays and I'm just like, ah, you know, because I release on Sundays, so I'm not going to wait till Sunday. I'm going to go, you know, Friday or Saturday sometimes, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Today was the nicest day as far as wind, sun, and temperature goes. And it was a huge success. We caught three fish. Nothing more needs to be said about it. I think if I trolled, they'd still go crazy. Oh, yep, one's underneath that tree right there, right near where I just cast. Right, we know one's there, so now let's try black fly. Let's try this lure. Is it an otter? I think we see an otter. We're gonna switch to a spoon. But we're gonna go say hello to the otter. Hello, Harry Otter. Oh, he's making a noise. Don't mind us. Monty, it's okay. It's just an otter. Don't worry about it, Monty. He's just hanging out. You're a swimmer, Harry. Harry Alta. Hey, you're following us. I'm not following you. Okay? Oh, don't make that noise towards me. You're fine. We're not causing a ruckus. Oh, they're still jumping. They're still jumping. They're still jumping. They're still jumping. A little chill in my arms. I'm gonna have to put on this jacket here soon. But not yet. But to commemorate the beginning of a new season, we're gonna crack open a burr. So we're gonna do. Ah. Oh my gosh, Mr. Otter is following us. So for any of you out there that think I'm following this otter, no, he is actually trying to catch up to us now. I think he thinks this is his lake. It probably is his lake. And he doesn't want us fishing on it. Alright, I got a line trolling. 
just like I said I wouldn't do because I have an addiction to catching fish. That's 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 the truth. Let's be honest. So now that it's slowed down, I'd like to catch one more. I mean, I don't think I'm it's it's not going to be the best setup because it's just going to be slow moving while I'm casting. But there's still a chance. Pretty just pretty sure I just heard our otter friend. You can see the glow in the sky. The sun's getting close to setting. I always have the worst just fisherman's emotions. Uh, like earlier, I was like, "Ah, oh, I caught three. I don't even care. We don't need to catch any more fish." And then all of a sudden, I'm just like. Oh, you know, it'd be nice to catch one more fish. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, I really want to catch another fish. Like, what the heck? Oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to troll. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, wait. Eh, you know what? I'll troll. Why not? I mean, I could catch another fish. And I'm like, I haven't had a bite in a while. I, I kind of need to catch a fish now. And then I get to like super desperate. I'm just like, okay, we're going to start trolling. I like, I haven't caught a fish. I haven't had a bite. Like something's wrong. <laughs> It's just like a play-by-play -play of what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how it. That's how it goes. I'm also gonna do some. I'm gonna try to do something this summer that's a little crazy. And if you're a fellow fisherman, you might know what I'm talking about. But I am gonna attempt to not spend that much money on new lures this year. I've got so many lures, so many variations, so many things, but I have an addiction to just, you see something, you're just like, oh my gosh, that could catch a fish. I think that could catch fish. You get it, and then you, sometimes you use it, sometimes you don't. You see something else, you're like, oh, that could catch a fish. That right there could catch a fish. Yeah, I have that problem but I'm gonna try to just use what I got this year because I've, I've got more than I need. If I had a smaller selection and I was you know, forced to use that to catch fish, I'd have no problem. But now I've just got too many options. Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for the dog park? Do you want to be a good boy? You're the best boy, Monty. That's the goodest boy. Why are you so cute, Monty? Why? You think you want to squish your face? Why do I want to squish your face? Why? There's a good boy. Oh, yes. You're going to get treats later. Dang it, the sounds of spring are here. Did I think I was gonna go swimming today? No, I did not, Monty. I tried to step on this log here to go pee, and the log rolled pretty good. <laughs> And I stepped, and the ground is soft. So my balls have shrunk significantly because it's quite cold. And, uh, well, I'm soaked. Dang it. <sighs> There's just not much you can do about this one. Everything is soaked down below. So, uh, well, Monty, could you look less calm? Could you just 
sympathize with me for a minute here. Yeah, okay. Why, my dear? Oh, that is a big leech. There's a big leech. There's a big old leech here, Monty. Okay, so... Now that I'm soaking wet, we are going to just... Get back to camp. I think we're done fishing. I mean, Monty, you could just get sympathize with me a little bit here. Now my seat's going to get soaked. It just happened in slow motion, and it was just the worst. I was on the log, and I had, I was holding the boat, and I was, I had, I was on the log, and I was pressing on the ground, but the log just started to roll and I couldn't stop it from rolling forward. It was just like an irreversible slow roll. And I just slipped off and stepped in. And from there I sunk in. Never mind. We're going back to camp. I don't know if any of that was recording just a second ago, but I just spilled my. just fell in the water. All that. And I was going back to camp, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to troll, because I don't care. And... Put in my hand. That's a beautiful rainbow trout. That's... That's one of the biggest rainbow trouts I've caught in a while. That's a 20... 22-inch rainbow right there. Look at that, baby. Ha ha ha! Oh, yeah. Now, if I had... Oh, he was barely hooked. I wetted my hands, don't worry. He's fine. Okay, we're going to let this guy go. I wish I had GoPro. Alright, he's free. Now we're getting back to camp and I'm going to change my pants. Okay? Okay. Monty. I think, I think I'm a genius. I think I'm a genius, Monty. Come here, you fuzzy. Oh, don't go between my legs. That's not a good idea right now. Okay. Oh. So, you know, it's, uh, we're, we're pretty much car camping. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, I don't know what it recorded, but up to here, I went in the water. So everything is completely and utterly soaked. Hey, check this out. Oh, that's good. That's what you want. Oh my gosh. Yep. We got a little bit of wet. And I got my waterproof socks on, but the thing with waterproof socks is, I'm only saying they're waterproof if you don't get the water past there. You go past there, I mean, they're gonna fill with water, which is exactly what they did. So, you know, it's getting into the 30s and we just went in the water. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, yeah, I'm going to change into my dry clothes, which I don't, I didn't bring dry pants because what could go wrong if you're just <laughs> going out of the lake? I got my thermal layers. So I'm gonna put on my thermal layers. I'm gonna be walking around and, uh, long johns and my crocs and uh this right here i've got thermal layers but i kind of want to dry this out because the hoodie's comfy so i'm gonna wear this even though it's a little wet i'm definitely gonna want to dry this out because it's not fully soaked it's just soaked up to here so i could just put my thermal layers on and my jacket but i'm gonna keep this on and let my body heat. <sighs> yeah, this is fun. Okay, so I'll check back in with you guys when I'm all situated. <laughs> and then we're gonna spark up a fire. <laughs> oh, jeez.
Yeah. So, uh, I'm in my long johns, you can see. Totally fine, totally warm. I've got the little wet waist because I'm just drying out my sweatshirt. Um, my waterproof socks definitely, it just leaked in. My pants are just totally soaked. I don't got another pair of pants. So I'm just gonna be wearing long johns the rest of the trip, which is fine. It's, it's fine, it really doesn't matter. Like, do I need to wear pants? No. Uh, my wallet's soaked. My phone's soaked. Uh, Mont, you're getting embers on you. I don't know if you should be sitting that close, Monty. Why don't you come over here, Monty? Come over here, right here. Come here, Monty. Come over here, right here. Yeah, yeah, right there, right there. That's good, right there, lay down. Right here, lay down, yeah. That's good, good boy. Yes, I didn't want the tent really right there because these embers, it's only gonna be this initial burn once it, it burns down. Um, and the other thing is the ground is soaking wet. Um, it's not dry out right now. It's the ground is very wet underneath these leaves. So it looks like, you know, there's leaves everywhere and dead sticks, but the ground's soaking wet, so you don't have to worry. Um, so yeah, I am gonna set out the stuff in my wallet. I'm gonna hang my pants and my socks and all my good stuff. And we're just gonna relax. <laughs> and then we're gonna start preparing dinner here. I just, I just need to get situated. I wasn't expecting that. It's a little chilly out. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, look at him. Long Johns, Crocs, what's sexier than that? <laughs> oh. The answer is not much. For being, if I'm being quite honest. So, we're trying out a new saw today. This was sent to me back, it's actually, it's kind of poetic. The last video I gave a Monty update when we did the whole thing where I referenced everything, uh, I tried out a new saw. It was the Boreal 24, and they also sent me the Boreal 21, or no, the Boreal 15, which is what this little guy is. It's more for, uh, you know, compact, lightweight. So we're gonna test it out. Um, now I like the Boreal. I like everything. About, uh, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna saw like this. It's just smaller than the other ones. And I'm gonna see if that small size makes it uh, not as enjoyable to use. Oh, that's not so bad. My mat. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna saw up some firewood here. I'm not gonna saw crazy pieces. This uh, fire pit needs to be dug out. We're just going to make these a little bit smaller here. And uh, then we're going to prepare some dinner. Food. I planned on not catching fish. So I brought out a piece of venison and some Brussels sprouts. And I was going to bring some potatoes to make up, you know, just grilled potatoes. But our bag of potatoes we had, apparently we haven't eaten potatoes in a while because we had spuds. <laughs> Or this, they had the little, uh, the growth, you know, when you can pretty much plant them in the ground, they had roots or whatever, like that long. They were kind of gross. They were all soft. So I was like, yeah, we'll go without that. So we're having Brussels, venison, and freshly caught rainbow trout. So we were having an up north surf and turf. Yeah. And it's going to be delicious. Monty's going to get that entire other fish. He's getting a whole fish. Cause he's a good boy. Cause he's trying to watch his figure. <laughs> so he gets a whole fish. I'll get a whole fish. And then he's gonna get venison. Which venison is good. It's very lean. It's not fatty at all. Especially the flat steaks. 
there's like no fat. It's like some of the leanest meat you can get, I swear. Good boy, Monty. Oh, did you good? Did you good boy? Look at that overbite. Oh, look at that overbite, Monty. It is time to prepare some dinner. So, we have got some Brussels sprouts. These are gonna be the most difficult thing to cook. Because sometimes Brussels can take a while. So we're just gonna add these to the pot. We've got quite a few Brussels here. Now I wasn't gonna bring out so many Brussels except that our potatoes were gross, as I mentioned before. So, we're going heavy on the Brussels. And, uh, fish and steak. So I'm gonna finish doing this up quick. Rainbow trout and my rainbow trout. Okay. It's our good buddy Steve. Hey Steve. Oh Steve, don't put your arms out like you're you're gonna attack me. Don't do that. Steve, don't Steven. Steven, don't you dare. No, was oh, Steve. Steve. Wait, isn't your mouth on this end? Oh, I wanna tickle your Tickle your chin. Oh, 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 Steve. S Steve. Oh, it's been so long. It's good to see ya. For cooking, why would anybody ever want anything other than ye old great great? And not just one great great. I'm talking maximum stability, double great great. Ah, uh, well, for some reason, this firing was not meant for double great great. That's just not working. Hmm. Hmm. It's just we're gonna have to go with this. Oh. So we're gonna have our great grades like just strange. Is this even gonna work? You know, the hardest thing is going to be to cook these gosh darn Brussels because there's so many of them. So what we're going to do is put those on first and wait till these are getting close to cooked. But what we need for these is a teeny tiny, teeny tiny little healthy portion of butter in there. Little healthy, nice little healthy portion of butter in there. Just a teeny weeny teeny tiny portion of butter. Oh, that pan is hot. Okay. Cute little old healthy portion of butter. So healthy and teeny. I just want to make sure it's healthy enough. That doesn't seem healthy enough. All right, there we go. I don't wanna really burn in right now. We need to get our butter down there. Okay, to these, we're gonna add a little black pepper. There we go. We're gonna add a little salt. 
Not too much salt. Not too little salt. Just the right amount of salt. Okay. Now these gotta cook a little bit before we do anything else, so we're just waiting on the Brussels to cook down a bit. We need to get cooking the rest of this stuff. We need to get Monty's on here. Monty's just gonna get his trout boiled. Let's see if we can. <gasps> that is a hot fire. Hooey! Alright, Monty's just gonna go like that. Alright, we're gonna throw this steak on here. And of course on my portion of steak, let's see, which portion are we giving Monty? We'll give Monty the end. I'm gonna put Montreal on mine. It's a hot fire. Oh, jeez. That's going to cook decently fast there. You got a little more Montreal there. Okay. All right. That's cooking. We've got two knives here, so I don't think I'm using the, the raw one with the other one. And we've got our fish on there. We're going to cook that a little bit slower. But we're going to add a little Montreal on the outside. Montreal on the inside. A little Montreal here. All, all like that. Alright, okay. Ooh, everything is cooking. Our northern surf and turf is going. Oh yeah, this is going to be so delicious. Okay. Ooh, 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 jeez. Now that is cooking a little bit faster than I wanted to. These are cooking faster than I thought they were. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Everything is coming together. There we go. Look at that. Got every scrap off of there. Monty's is right there. Okay. We're going to mix in some of his doggy food and then we're going to slice in some steak and Monty's is ready. It is time to eat. Okay, I'm going to add my fish in there. Ooh. All we've got to do. Take out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All of it delicious. Now well, we've just got to add. 
Monty is going to get his share. unseasoned venison. Got to make sure to cut it up small for the Monty. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to slice it up because that right there that is a hefty bowl of glory for me mm. 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 I know it's a little unnecessary but there's a little butter in this pan from uh, cooking might as well just drizzle it on there oh yeah Add the fork of approval and uh, mix up Monty's here. He's got a whole trout, nice chunk of venison. Okay, it is time to feast. Look at your little tubes. Do you think you get a treat with your tubes? Okay, you get a treat with your tubes. You're the goodest boy. Look at you. Oh, that, dro that drool is... Monty, don't drool. Oh, stop it. It's like, Dad, listen, I don't get upset about much, but if you made me wait any longer, I'm gonna get real upset with you. You've been such a good boy. Go ahead. <laughs> He's so excited to eat it. I am so excited to eat it. I mean, these thighs don't lie. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is definitely not that first beer, by the way. Yeah. Are you, are you begging? Are you begging? No, I didn't, I didn't ask you to lay down. I was just wondering if you're begging.
anyways folks um I've almost crushed all this food and it's more filling than I thought it was going to be I got all the fish down most of the steak it is Brussels so I'm going to finish all this food, clean up, tidy up, and then we're going to get in that tent and get ready for bed because the whole peeing on the log and going up waist deep has just wasted a little bit more time than I thought. It took like an extra hour. your royal palace. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. There's a good boy. Well, look at this good boy. Okay, so we messed around with the owls. All right, Montana, let's scoot your butt. Okay, don't be upset. See? See how, how much better that is? Now you're more situated on the pad? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we messed around with the owls there for a minute. Oh, uh, they got pretty dang close. Uh, we ate some delicious food. I haven't seen Monty limp once, but that doesn't matter. I know, I know the whole injury is still there and the the issue's still there. So it's just you might see Monty limp, you might see him not limp. It doesn't mean anything's better or worse. It means he's just keeping on. He's keep on keeping on. As long as his spirits are high, that's all that matters. Right, Monty? Did you get enough treats? Did you get enough treats today? Did you get enough treats? Oh, don't you? Don't you dare. You're, we're sleeping in here, Monty. Okay, anyways. Oh. The light is freaking out all of a sudden. 
Okay, wow. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's a forest spirit that just entered the light in the camera, but it's like, things are flashing. Things are getting weird. Anyways, we're gonna pass out, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. I need to come back here. Come back here, Monty. Good morning, Monty. Oh, 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 come back here. Oh, where are you going? There you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. There's a big teddy bear. Yeah. There's a big teddy bear. There's a big Monty bear. Oh, there's a bunty. Hey! Look at that overbite. Look at that. You can't close your mouth. Why can't you close your mouth? Hmm? Is this comfy? Looks kind of comfy. Hi. Hey, my little teddy bear. Hey, teddy bear. Yes. So I slept decent last night. Uh, so this air pad, I had to let out like half the air. It was just like, with there being so much air in there, uh, it caused a lot of like pressure points. So it's it works. It's not my favorite, but it's not the worst. So it'll do, but like right now if I sit up like I'm definitely just sitting on the ground. When I sit up I have to be laying down. Ooh, the camera's all tilted. Anyways, um it rained for a good four or five hours and since my clothes were soaked I had them hanging on trees, I was like who cares? They're already wet, so everything's wet. And now it's sunny out. But anyways, it's time to get up and pack up and stuff. So let's do it, my team. Let's get up and do it. Yes. Mm. 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 You got no ears, my team. Oh, don't kiss me. I can kiss you, but you get stinky breath. Well, hi, Monty. Hi. Oh, look at the crap on your tail. Hmm? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We got a stick? Come here. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh, it's a beautiful day. The wind has completely switched directions. It was going this way, blowing this way, and now it's blowing this way. It is this, 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 that. Monty, I can't throw the stick for you, buddy. We're not there yet. We will get there. This got wet. Yeah, I was just like, and normally if I'm on like an extended trip or I've got some portaging to do I'm not gonna want a bunch of heavy stuff but I'm essentially car camping the the car is like a hundred feet away from where you put it in the lake so I guess it's a tiny portage but uh, it doesn't really count so I didn't care it didn't, it didn't get too crazy oh. I ain't got no pants. 
They ain't got no pants. Want some num nums? Dry kibble. Let's see if he'll eat it. Go for it. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Okay, so I've just got to pack up that DSLR in this here bag and then we're going to get in the water and get to paddling and I guess portaging and probably fishing for a little bit. Okay, alright, okay. Good boy. Now I do got to get home and edit this up, you know. That's why we're not having any breakfast and stuff. But does that mean that I'm not going to spend a good half hour to maybe even an hour trying to catch a fish? That does not mean that. This sacrifice I make for me. <laughs> oh, the sun's out. It was just snowing a minute ago. It's definitely colder than it was yesterday. <sighs> All right. The other thing is, uh, with having no pants on, my paddle, when it lands on my thermals here, it's just, they're gonna get soaked quick. These absorb water quite well. They don't, uh, they don't resist it in any way. So we're just gonna troll now to this end of the lake and I'll take some casts out of the wind. I'll take maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe 30, or just a few 50. Who knows? Depends if I get a bite. If I get a bite trolling, then yeah, we're gonna cast more than 10. No bites trolling. Let's see about casting. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention from yesterday, right before I dunked myself, um, I saw a big old trout right, right at like six inches of water. So it was pretty shallow. So I'm assuming other trout will be shallow as well. Okay, so um, we're right near where I get out a little launch. And uh, yeah, I got to get home and get editing. And I'm not sure if this is going to be live today or tomorrow. Probably most likely tomorrow. Um, 
I'll probably get it edited up most of the day today and then get it produced tonight and start uploading it in the early morning. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep casting here and just for another few minutes, if I catch something, I'll show you guys. If I don't, it's just going to fade to black. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video.